what's going on everybody how we doing today um so today is actually a day after i finished painting and did all the body work on my car i spent about two days uh doing all the body work on it getting the rust all down to bare metal uh getting rid of all the surf rust and all the the garbage that was on the body of my car that area this area that you're about to um watch me repair is basically like the the, the last like rust spot that's on my car everything else is very minimal and it's like maybe bubbling but like other than that all the rust on my car is basically repaired but that being said um you're gonna see what happened at the end of the video if you guys stay and hang out and watch the whole video which i would greatly appreciate it if you guys could stay and watch throughout the whole video and also give me a thumbs up and possibly subscribe if you'd like to see more content um but yeah so what i was gonna say is if you watch to the end of the video you're gonna see how I painted my car the wrong color. You can probably tell in this video right now. <laughs> yeah, I painted my car the wrong color. After two days of body work and like the hours that I put in fixing all that rust, I painted it the wrong color. Now, uh, this might be my fault. It, it probably my fault, but I ordered the, the paint match like eight months ago, nine months ago before I had even moved to Nevada. Um, so, I had it in my house and I didn't think twice to even like to look at it really. I had sprayed a little bit on a like a thing to see if the color like matched and it appeared that it matched. But I didn't know that there's two colors. Well, I did know it, but I didn't realize it that they're both named the same thing. They just have a different paint code. So it's like stall grate uh, metallic or something like that. Mine is the more gray one. The one that I had is paint code 372, which is the more blue one. So I gotta order a new new paint. I'm just gonna sand it, paint it. All the body work's done, so it'll only take me a couple hours to paint it. But please uh, watch the whole video. I kind of do some instructions on how we repaired all the holes and all the major issues that were wrong with the car. And also I slapped on the new fenders and polished the, the side markers. All right, guys, with that being said, please enjoy the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you. All right, everybody, have a few things we got to do on Miley. So um, right now, I am going to pull off this fender. The other fender, I pulled off this bolt, this bolt, this bolt, this bolt, the blood up bolt up there. The one underneath here, that is right there. Um, I got that bolt. There's one more bolt, um, like right here, I think. So, but you got to get it from the inside. So I got to pull off the fender liner. That's, as you can see, is pretty messed up from that wheel being too wide but all i did is i took my little wire brush right here and I, you know i'm gonna get some sandpaper and if i have to fiberglass anything i will do it with the flowers watch the seconds turn to hours it's time for high tea Okay guys, um, basically what this video is going to show right now is that when you have rust in your car, get it fixed as soon as possible because then you have things like this. You get holes and it spreads and it, it, it's bad and you get more holes like that. So I advise you just don't live on the East Coast and um, yeah, yeah, get your rust fixed because it's important getting all the, the <laughs> rust flaking and all that garbage away. Um, as you can see, I took some of uh, this rust neutralize from Loctite. Um, I don't know, found it in AutoZone. I gotta give it a shot. Uh, neutralizes the, the rust. I tried to take away as much as I could so it wasn't like heavy rust. Um, my idea behind uh, doing this repair on my own was one to save a lot of money and two um, it's not necessarily um, a permanent repair uh, I plan to uh, repaint this car in the future entirely so um, yeah this will just make it so that it looks a lot nicer for the time being 
as well as that I got, um, I don't have that RC fender anymore because I got the new ones in my house. So once I'm done with this side, uh, the other side doesn't need any work done really, um, just down here, but I'm just going to do like from the door up and that's all about I need because I fixed everything else um, for on the other side when I did uh, the quarter panel repair. So yeah, uh, I'm going to go ahead, give it a shot, try and uh, patch these holes. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, so I did a little more work. So through some, I uh, mixed up some Bondo. So I got fast dry and stuff. Trying to get all the, um, the rough spots kind of flattened out. I got a little dry right there and I, I don't know. I did that spot and I, the heart, the um, Bondo got pretty dry at that point. So, um, all I did was, you know, I, I sanded all that rust out of there. I got it just, uh, down as far in the bare metal as possible. They all basically looked like this before I put anything on it. Um, I'm basically focusing on this, like, this bend right here, the one part that's exposed. I want to get all that, like, looking real nice. And then this part, all I'm going to do is just fill these holes and then um, basically put some more of that rust converter stud on it prime it and then just leave it how it is because i'm not going to go in and like paint something that you can't see um i might just throw like a light coat on it but i only have one 12 ounce can and i want to get all this stuff down so i might just throw some primer on it and put that rust converter on it one more time and uh yeah that should be okay it's it, i'm in, i'm in nevada now so it's it's not like i'm most of the rain all the time it's pretty dry out. it's about to be summertime I see like 90 plus degree degrees every day now with like no rain so yeah i'm gonna let this dry for a little bit um and then i got a kit to patch the holes i gotta sand all that and then i'm gonna move to the holes but i wanted to get all that right first i wanted to like prioritize that but so far it's all uh coming out pretty good um I learned a few things from when I worked with Gary. He taught me some, you know, some basic stuff, uh, how to work with body work and stuff. So just wanted to see what I could do here. Rather than paying someone hundreds of dollars to do this, I figured I'd give it a shot. So uh, I watched a few YouTube videos about it. And, of course, I watched Chris Fix's video because it's awesome. Um, but, yeah, I didn't expect to uh, actually be doing all of this. Um, my plan was to, like I said, just take the old fender off, um, repair anything from here, which wasn't that bad, and then just put the new fender on, just so that it didn't kind of clash with it. But when I pulled the side skirt off, because it had to come off with the, um, when I did that, when I was going to do that, um, two holes that hold in the, like, two clips ripped out of the bottom of it, so that's that. Um, I'm going to try and get some time, time lapses for you guys, get some, uh, some footage in here for you of me just sanding up. And, uh, then when I do the, when I patch the holes, then I'll film. I didn't feel like it was necessary to film all the other stuff. It was just me sanding. So, uh, yeah. did all the body work i just have to do a little more sanding over here and then i have to do a little bit of sanding right here um but after that i'm gonna spray primer and then primer has got to set sand the primer then maybe do one more coat of primer after that and then sand it again and then i'll get ready for paint but um i patched all the holes I gotta sand those down too, kind of get those, you know, this is just to get the holes fixed, but it's solid. Um, I got this one and that one, they're both solid. I gotta sand that all down, ow. I did a lot.
lot of wet sanding with the primer. Um, this part looks really good to one spot. I had to throw a little more primer on, um, but I got the transition like very smooth. You can't even tell there's anything there. I did have to throw a little bit more primer on some spots right here and there. Um, it looks good though. Everything looks really straight. I lined it up with the rocker. I lined it up with the door. Um, so it all flows very well. I'm, I'm actually like really impressed with how this is coming out. So I'm like really looking forward to like spraying this with color in a little while. But I gotta let that primer dry a little bit and then uh, sand it down. And then I will get to, um, you know, I'm gonna probably sand it with like 800 grit of sandpaper or all through and just kind of get the transition good so when i spray the clear and the color it all kind of uh, blends really nicely uh, right here i mean there's not much blending i have to worry about this is just one spot that i gotta spray some color on i'll sand and spray some color on that so you can't really see it but that part really doesn't show you can only see that when the door is open but even still you can barely see it when the door is open the fender comes up to there so you realistically can only see from like here forward so yeah i'm just gonna spray some like color right there no clear maybe like one coat of clear um but yeah uh anything underneath the rocker though like i'll probably just throw like one light coat of uh color just so it's not like primer and then we'll just leave it how it is but all the rust down there is uh sanded away you know, i can use the rust converter so it's not gonna keep uh, spreading. I got a, as much way as possible. I chipped away all the, the, the bad paint. Um, I patched all the holes. So I had a hole right there. There was a hole right here that I patched. And like the patch jobs aren't like awesome. I just, I literally just threw some fiberglass and some like a patch thing on there. But I'm probably just gonna throw like a layer of body filler in the sand so it's smooth. So that one came out, this one came out better than this one. But uh, this one was a bit, a bit bigger, so. But this one actually came out pretty nicely, so I'm happy with how that one came out. Um, yeah. Now I have no more holes in there, so it should be a bit stronger, and I shouldn't have to worry about anything spreading and destroying my rockers for now. And that was the whole point of this, was to really save the body of this car. I didn't want the rust to keep spreading and spreading and spreading. Two, two coats down so far probably gonna do like one or two more or maybe like one heavy one but this fucking looks fabulous i mean i didn't even know i was good, this good at body work damn bro look at that let's wait for the clear i'll keep you guys updated All right, guys, it's been uh, 30 minutes. Let that all dry up. I just ran to the store, grabbed a tack cloth so I can tack this up, and then we're going to throw three to four coats of clear coat. Uh, let me guys get you set up. Let me get you guys set up so I can uh, record this for you guys. All right. All right, guys, we got three three coats of clear coat right now. I'm going to throw in the uh, last coat, which is going to be the fourth coat. It's going to be a heavier coat, so hopefully this will shine well. I realize it's rattle can, so it's going to give me some uh, orange peel, but that's okay. Um, I got some polish for it, and I'll, I'll make it look pristine. All right, thanks, guys. All right, guys. Uh, so it came out really good, but... I think you can all see the problem. <laughs> 